Hey there, welcome to this episode of the AI Show where we're going to learn about cognitive services with a special guest. Tell us who you are and what you do. Luis Cabrera, I am a Principal Program Manager in the Content and Search Intelligence team. Fantastic. So why don't you give us a quick overview of cognitive services if people don't know what it is. Very good, very good. So, so cognitive services are really a variety of services that use machine learning under the hood. But you don't need to be a data scientist to, to harness all that power of, of machine learning. Sometimes machine learning can feel, be, uh, can feel a little bit hard. Mm -hmm. Not a problem with cognitive services. If you're a developer, you can consume cognitive services. Awesome. So it's just like calling a library, like we're used yeah, to. Yeah, just, just calling a library. I mean, under the hood, it does complicated stuff. But from your perspective, it's just inputs and outputs, practically. Can you give us like a 20-second overview of all of the stuff that you can do? And then maybe you can point out the exact ones that we're going to work yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So why don't we actually take a look? So, so cognitive services are, are, you know, several cognitive services in language, in... in uh, knowledge, search, uh, vision capabilities. Uh, so consider cognitive services like the ones that can recognize a face in an image mm -hmm. or uh, can recognize the intent of your, uh, of your voice, right? What, what is it that you mean when you are talking to a bot, let's say? I see. Uh, so, and today we're going to focus on uh, services that have to do with language, okay. uh, like, you know, textual language, right? Awesome. And so this is this is interesting. And so if, if anybody wants to do any intelligent things with that are in these areas, you just call the API and it'll do it for that, you. That is right. All right. That so tell right. us about the one we're talking about today with text. Okay. So actually, we're going to focus on three of them. If you, I don't know if you can see the screen. So we will focus on text analytics. We will talk about uh, entity linking. Mm -hmm. And then we will discuss uh, with Bing Entity Search. Awesome. So yeah. the, I think the power in these services comes when you start to link them all together and do, that's yeah, when it starts we'll, to Yeah, we'll see how, how, how interesting it is to kind of put them together and, and get insights from, from text in this case. Um, but why don't we start let's just do like it. starting from zero, let's right? Dive just, in. Let's pretend that we're going to create like our first uh, subscription, subscription for a cognitive service. And uh, you will notice that uh, in, in your Azure portal, there is an AI and cognitive services section. Okay. And then uh, there, you can see all the variety of cognitive services that we have. Um, there is a long list. Uh, in my case, I, I really just want to create a, a, a text analytics API service. So I'm going to use this, this uh, uh, icon here. And I'm going to create it. And I will just provide all the, all the information about my subscription and so forth in order to save time. I'm you, you've already done it. I'm going to discard that. It's like that a cooking show. They are just like a cooking show, cool. exactly, right? So I'm just going to kind of close all these. And here somewhere I have a cognitive service that I already created. So after you go through the, the whole experience, this is what you're going to see. This is what you're going cool. to This is what you're going to see, a, a bunch of links on how to get started and so forth. Uh, what I care about here, most importantly, is, is a set of keys. Um, and uh, I'm just going to copy that key because that is my developer key that will allow me to, to call the service. Got it. Okay. So now that we have that, uh, I'm going to um, just kind of, uh, well, actually, let me go to Microsoft.com slash cognitive, where you will see, you can see the information about each of the services and so forth. I was using text analytics, so I'm going to just show you how to navigate to that. You can see some of its capabilities. It can extract sentiment analysis, extract key phrases, uh, identify the language of, of what people are saying. I see. And this is cool because you can actually kick the tires right here if yeah. you want to try it. You, you, can, you can try it right away. And as a matter of fact, a lot of them have like an interactive experience. Got like it. the one here. I'm going to skip that because sure. we're doing to, the real deal now. To like show you how, how an API works and uh, kind of the structure of that API. So. In my case, uh, let's say that we want to detect some language. Okay. Why not? So I'm going to click on the West US endpoint, which is the one I care about, paste my subscription key, and now we just uh, give it some information. Let's say ID 1 for the first record, and uh, I speak Spanish, so I'm going to say, Hola, como están? And it should tell me that that's Spanish if I still remember my Spanish correctly. So I click Send. And lo and behold, it, it tells us that, you know, that's indeed uh, With indeed perfect Spanish. confidence. Perfect confidence. 1.0 1. 1. means 100%. 100%, exactly, right. right? Let's do something more interesting. Uh, let's, uh, for instance, extract sentiment out of an expression. So let's try here, Seth. Um, uh, let's see. I'm going to say language English. How are you doing today, Seth? You know, 
I could be better. I woke up sad because my cat died. Better. I woke. Uh, let's see. I woke up sad because my cat died. And then don't forget the key. Oh, that's correct. Uh, so let me just copy it again. I don't know if it's still. In, uh, it may still be it's in my still, it's, memory. It's got to be in there. Right. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So let's see what happens. How happy are you? You are only 6% happy. Oh, no. <laughs> I was so going to say I'm about 6% happy. I, I'm, I'm pretty <laughs> sure that was the case. 6.9%. 6.9%. Yes, yes. Almost 7. Yes, not, yes. not 8, but yeah, almost 7. Yeah. So pretty sad day because your cat died. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we, we can see how you will use this in, if you have a product, right? Mm -hmm. And you want to identify how people feel about your product or services, for instance. So if you're in a forum and someone's like 0.1% happy, you should probably get over there and address that. Exactly. Okay, that right. makes sense. Right. It can help you prioritize the issues Smart. that you have, right? Uh, support tickets, for mm -hmm. instance. That, that's another great use of this. Um, so let's actually take um, an example that uh, chains some of this together. So okay. we're going to do text analytics first then entity linking, and then Bing entity search, and I'll explain what each of them are. Awesome. So we're actually going to be, this is an application that puts together a bunch of them, two of which we've already seen, or one of which we've already seen. Sure. Okay. And the other ones are similar. So, okay. so it's just kind of, I want to kind of step up uh, the discussion to, to uh, the, the, the concepts as opposed to like going into each of the APIs. Yeah. So I'm going to enter, um, I enter some text, just like, uh, the cooking show aspect of it, sure. I already had it typed. And I said, I love the, no, uh, the new Surface Studio. What amazes me is the uh, most is the cool dial. It allows me to quickly edit my Photoshop images. It works really well with the Adobe Creative Suite. Okay, so, so I see some highlighting. Yes, so those are the key phrases. Uh, so th that's what I am talking about. Okay. Uh, in, in a small piece of text, it's kind of obvious. You know, you can see some nouns and so mm -hmm. forth. What it gets really interesting is if, imagine I had like a, a news article that is like a full page. Sure. Right? It, will, it will use uh, statistical analysis such as which uh, words get mentioned most uh, closely together, which ones uh, get uh, mentioned most compared to others and so forth to tell me what are the, the top key phrases that I am discussing. Is this the same thing as like NER named entity recognition or the same thing as entity, because I know there's entity yeah, search. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's different, okay. right? So, so finding entities is finding a, a particular a element. Noun, a thing, yeah. Yeah, like, like for instance, Surface Studio here is a key phrase, but it's, that happens to be also an entity. That is, I can say, this is the Surface Studio product. Right? I see. Um, cool dial. Uh, well, that, I guess that, that is not specific enough probably to be the Surface Dial. If mm -hmm. I had said Surface Dial, that could be an entity as well. Um, so, or, or a great day, for instance. That's not an entity, right? Like it's, it's too generic. I see. But it still could be like maybe my whole discourse as, is about having a great day. So the that, key that phrases key are things, phrase. are, sorry, the key phrases are the things that would summarize your document, so to speak, yeah, or the, uh, pick out the most yeah, important the, bits? The most important uh, key phrases Got or it. phrases that, that I am talking about. Cool. Yes. And so that was part of the, the, the text, text analytics. analytics okay. okay. So now we're going to do one more step, and we're actually going to extract entities. Okay. And which uh, is now what I was talking about. Yes. Okay. Which is uh, using the entity linking uh, service. And you can see that some of this got highlighted now. So Surface. Um, uh, got highlighted, uh, Photoshop and Adobe Creative Suite. Cool Dial did not get highlighted. It wasn't specific enough. And the interesting thing is Surface could mean many things, right? Yeah. It could be like this Surface uh, uh -huh. or the actual piece of equipment. The, the cool thing here is if I click on this, you can see that it actually went to Microsoft Surface, the I Wikipedia see. article, because it was able to identify the unique entity. I In see. this case, Microsoft Surface. And um, okay. And then one more step, uh, I'm going to take the entities that we identified and send them to Bing Entity Search okay. to find additional metadata about that. And, and Bing Entity Search, is just like a search for this thing? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So, so it's just another cognitive service. So for instance, for Surface, for the Surface product, you can see that it was able to tell me, well, one, it's a product, uh -huh. right? Uh, the category. And also, it was able to identify an icon for it, for instance. That's right? cool. Uh, let's do another uh, sentence just to kind of uh, show the point uh, about uh, uh, entities. So I could say like Trump and Obama, Obama met uh, over for lunch. Okay. And then um, Trump and Obama are the key phrases. Uh, apparently, that's a, a, a positive mm -hmm. uh, event. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 85% positive. And then. Um, 
I can identify the entities and if I go to Bing Entity Search, it tells me that Trump is the president of Puerto Rico, Whoa, no. <laughs> which oh, he is, I guess, yeah. uh, and uh, Obama, which is the 44th president of the oh, United that's States. That's impressive. That's funny. So that's what the machine has learned uh, over time. And yeah. this is pretty cool. And hopefully if you're watching, like I'm thinking of if I have a product that, that's been bu that I build, yeah. I, and, I, and I go into forums or people are talking about my stuff in my forums, I can actually pick out the products that they're talking about how they're talking about them, yeah. and if they're happy or not. Right, right, right. For instance, you could identify what's the average sentiment when people talk about Surface Studio, for instance, right? I see. And then you can say like, oh, you know, when people talk about, I don't know, my, the flash on this camera, people are not as happy as, uh, as, as it, usual. Yeah. Maybe there is something I have to fix there. And so now if you have a treasure trove of like documents that you can actually go through, this will do it for you. Yeah, yeah. So the idea is to automate this process. I used to work in the Bing Maps organization a couple of years ago, mm -hmm. and we had just released Bing Maps 3D. And uh, I remember every Friday I will spend uh, probably like an hour or two just going through all the latest reviews of in the in the App Store. Uh -huh. And then, you know, that was a lot of effort. I could never go through all yeah. of them. And hopefully I got uh, the gist of mm -hmm. what people were complaining about or what they liked. Now this can all be completely automated. Well, this is amazing. So how, how do people get started? Is this just, just what you showed? So you can go to microsoft.com slash cognitive, mm -hmm. and then you can see what each of the cognitive services are there, and then you can sign up for them. Awesome. We're going to put some links below so that you can, get, you can get to them and also probably some of the docs so you know exactly how to get to them. We've been talking all about text analytics using uh, cognitive services. Thanks so much for spending some Thank time you. with us. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.